The cost of electricity in the country is expected to go down by 30 percent by the end of this month and by 50 percent early next year following the launch of the world's largest geothermal power plant. The Okaria 4 power plant commissioned by President Uhuru Kenyatta in Naivasha will add 140 megawatts of power to the national grid, effectively bringing down the cost of electricity. The head of state says the initiative and many others by the government should have been completed long time ago were it not for persistent wrangles. We will be putting pressure on our maize millers. Tunataka bay ya unga, pia iteremuke. Tunataka bay ya sukari, pia iteremuke. Tunataka bay ya vyombo ambavyo mwanainchi anatumia iteremuke. And that is the benefit that the citizens of this country are looking for. Right? His deputy president, William Ruto, who spoke at the same function, says the government will be connecting the remaining 5,000 primary schools to electricity by April next year in preparation for the free school laptop project. The launch of this 140 megawatts is revolutionary as the effects of what it will do to our energy around the country will be felt by the small, the medium, the big industries, individuals around the country. The Okaria 4 project worth 11.5 billion shillings is co-financed by the Kenyan government through Kenjin, as well as the World Bank, French Development Agency, the European Investment Bank, among others. I'm Angela Wamboy for Capital TV.